In this episode, we will be discussing cyclone and concepts related to it. Let's begin with a brief introduction. Cyclone is a low pressure system area with an elliptical or circular shape which is surrounded by high pressure areas from different sides. It moves anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Cyclones are usually accompanied by violent storms and bad weather. The word cyclone is derived from the Greek word cyclos meaning the coils of a snake. It was coined by Henry Peddington because the tropical storms in the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea appear like coiled serpents of the sea. Shifting towards types of cyclones. Cyclones can be divided in two categories, namely tropical cyclone and extratropical cyclone, temperate cyclones or middle latitude cyclones or frontal cyclones or wave cyclones. First, we will focus on tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones are violent storms that originate over oceans in tropical areas and move over to the coastal areas bringing about large-scale destruction caused by violent winds, very heavy rainfall and storm surges. Tropical cyclones originate and intensify over warm tropical oceans. The conditions favorable for the formation and intensification of tropical storms are higher temperature of more than 27 degrees Celsius, large sea surfaces and the presence of Coriolis force, little variations in the speed of the vertical wind, a pre-existing low pressure air circulation and upper divergence above the sea level system. Now looking at the stages of formation in tropical cyclones. The development cycle of tropical cyclones may be divided into three stages. A. Formation and initial development stage. The formation and initial development of a cyclone storm depends upon the transfer of water vapor and heat from the warm ocean to the overlying air, primarily by evaporation from the sea surface. It encourages formation of massive vertical cumulus clouds due to convection with condensation of rising air above the ocean surface. B. Mature stage When a tropical storm intensifies, the air rises in vigorous thunderstorms and tends to spread out horizontally at the tropopause level. Once air spreads out, a positive pressure at high levels is produced, which accelerates the downward motion of air due to convection. With the inducement of subsidence, air warms up by compression and a warm eye or low pressure center, which is generated. The main physical feature of a mature tropical cyclone in the Indian Ocean is a concentric pattern of highly turbulent giant cumulus thundercloud bands and C. Modification and decay. A tropical cyclone begins to weaken in terms of its central low pressure, internal warmth and extremely high speeds as soon as its source of warm moist air begins to ebb or is abruptly cut off. This happens after its landfall or when it passes over cold waters. Now let's discuss the nomenclature of tropical cyclones. The naming of tropical cyclones is a recent phenomenon. The process of naming cyclones involves several countries in the region and is done under the aegis of the World Meteorological Organization. For the Indian Ocean region, a formula for naming cyclones was agreed upon in 2004. Eight countries in the region contributed a set of names which are assigned sequentially whenever a cyclonic storm develops. They are Bangladesh, India, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Thailand. Hudhud, Titli, Fite, Fani, Vayu, and Amphan are among the names of cyclones in the Indian Ocean region. Worldwide Terminology of Tropical Cyclones They are known as typhoons in the China Sea and the Pacific Ocean, hurricanes in the West Indian Islands in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, tornadoes in the Guinea lands of West Africa and Southern USA, willy-willies in the Northwestern Australia, 
and tropical cyclones in the Indian Ocean. Looking at concepts related with anticyclones. An anticyclone is the opposite of a cyclone, that is, it has an outward spiraling air circulation around a high pressure center. An anticyclone's winds rotate clockwise in the northern hemisphere around a center of high pressure. In anticyclones, air comes in from above and sinks to the ground. Shifting focus towards the second type of cyclone, that is, temperate cyclone. It is also termed as middle latitude or extra tropical cyclones. They form in regions extending between 35 degree 65 degree latitudes in both the hemispheres. They are formed due to convergence of two contrasting air mass that is warm, moist and light tropical air mass with dense and cold polar air mass. They move in easterly direction at an average speed of 32 to 48 km per hour with a vertical extent of about 10 to 12 km. The direction of movement is from west to east and more pronounced in the winter season. It is in these latitude zones the polar and tropical air masses meet and form fronts. Now let's discuss the formation of temperate cyclones. The origin and development of temperate cyclones is best explained by the polar front theory. According to this theory, the warm humid air masses from the tropics meet the dry cold air masses from the poles and thus a polar front is formed. The cold air mass is denser and heavier and due to this reason warm air mass is pushed up. The interaction of cold and warm air masses creates instability and a low pressure is created at the junction particularly in the center of interactions. Thus a void is created because of lessening of pressure. The surrounding air rushed in to occupy this void and coupled with the earth's rotation a cyclone is formed. Extratropical cyclones present a contrast to the more violent cyclones or hurricanes of the tropics which form in regions of relatively uniform temperatures. Some of the important characteristics of temperate cyclone are given below. The temperate cyclone moves counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. It may be 1600 km wide, thus a single cyclone may cover the whole of Europe. The isobars are elliptical in shape. The cold air mass moves faster than the warm air mass. These cyclones move at a gentle pace of 5 to 25 km per hour. They give light showers which are highly beneficial for the crops and human health and efficiency. In the ending part of cyclone, there is thunder and lightning. Each cyclone is followed by a clear weather. Now let's discuss a few concepts related to cyclones. What is air mass? Air mass is an extremely large body of air whose properties of temperature and moisture content humidity at any given altitude are fairly similar. It can cover hundreds of thousands of square miles of area. It may have only a little horizontal variation in temperature and moisture throughout the air mass. When an air mass remains over a homogeneous area for a sufficiently longer time, it acquires the characteristics of the area. The homogeneous regions can be the washed ocean surface or washed plains. According to source regions, following types of air masses are recognized. Continental tropical, maritime tropical, maritime polar, continental polar and continental arctic. What is a front? When two different air masses having distinctly different properties meet, the boundary zone between them is called a front. There are four types of fronts. Stationary front. When the front remains stationary, it is called a stationary front. Cold front. When the cold air moves towards the warm air mass, its contact zone is called the cold front. Warm front. If the warm air mass moves towards the cold air mass, the contact zone is a warm front. Occluded front. If an air mass is fully lifted above the land surface, it is called the occluded front. 
The fronts occur in middle latitudes and are characterized by steep gradients in temperature and pressure. They bring about abrupt changes in temperature and cause the air to rise to form clouds and cause precipitation. Towards the end, let's focus on some prelims-based practice questions. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.